army is a career which one cherishes. I joined the army and never regretted having joined the army. I joined 1956 and I was commissioned in 1958. As a soldier, when you join the army, especially a commissioned officer, you join a battalion where there are other colleague officers and the men. Uh, slowly you learn about living with the men and other officers and uh, that's how I proceeded. I am in those were the days when India as an independent country was progressing. Our uh, relationship with the neighboring countries, with Mr. Nehru, with the Prime Minister, were very good. And uh, at the time, uh, the Chinese uh, Prime Minister Chow and Lai, he visited India, and uh, the punch sheet and other things came into existence. Uh, well, those, those were the, the days when the country was really coming up. Okay. 58, I was commissioned as an officer. Four or five years after my commissioning, I was selected and sent abroad, went to America to learn the Chinese language and other intelligence uh, matters. But as fate would have it, I met an exchange there and I became low category thereafter. My colleagues, of course, progressed in life, but being a low category man, I, my career could not go beyond a left girl's rank. My eldest brother was in the army. We are five brothers. I'm the youngest. He was the eldest. He had joined the Indian army when Britishers were ruling us. Uh, that was sometime, you could say, in. World War, was, War was on that time, Second World War. And the moment he joined the army, the very next day was posted out from here and sent abroad. My son, he's a brigadier today. Well, he, he sat the exam, qualified, went for interview, again qualified, made the grade, joined the army again, and uh, became an officer. And he's showing today the army is uh, Brigadier in the JNK area. I personally feel uh, if a person gets a chance to join the armed forces, that is possibly the best career that the country offers. Especially young men should join the army, and if they're fit for the army, they must join the army and serve the country.